Well, here we go heading up the woods today. Um, it's still too low, a little bit too wet to work in the fields and I have an order for some clapboard siding that I have to do. And so I need a few more logs. I'm going down into the my plantation where I have some pine that uh, I'll have to see if we have some damage from over the winter and hopefully cut a few pine trees to get on the wagon to bring out to my mill. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is what I call the further plantation. It's actually a clump of white pine right here. Um, but in this pine, we have already cut this a few years ago. I had a forester come in and mark it. So I really don't want to cut any more in here. But every spring I like to check it out and see if there's any damage over the winter. And since we have this clapboard siding job that I'm working on, I'm looking around I see those fresh green branches, green needles there, so I know there's some problems somewhere and sure enough as I look up there's a tree with the top broke off. So um, I'm going to salvage that tree. There's two or three others in here like that um, that I need to salvage otherwise they will die. Um, so I hope to get that, those few trees out and so that I can finish up this clapboard siding job that I'm doing and uh, um, we'll get a few cup down and then skid them out to the little landing right here and load them onto the wagon and bring them home to my mill.
I didn't have a good place to turn around, so I backed in from the main road. It was quite a long ways back. These horses backed up pretty good. It's so easy when you're cutting pine to miss a few limbs and they will stick right in the ground and pull really hard. So this is what I'm doing, just going back and clipping the limbs that I missed. Okay, this should make quite a few plowboards, not boards, for this order. A nice little load of pine, I didn't scale it up, but uh, it's, uh, it's plenty this time of year since the horses haven't been working that much in the woods. And we got a little mud here and there to go through, so.
I'm so thankful at least most places up here it's, it's dry, hard ground. Um, but as you can see, it's not dry everywhere, there's spots. But uh, it's really darn early in the season, so I can't complain. Um, but this used to be an old sugar bush years ago, and it's all been cut off. And it's just growing young stock right now, of course, but um, it, uh, the owner would just spend hours and hours on these roads, putting down rocks and whatnot. And so they're good solid roads, so I'm so thankful I can come do this during a time of year where it's still pretty wet. Okay, now we're going to start making covers. We uh, have the logs all sawed into cants. I'm making nine inch hot boards. So one side is nine inches, and the other side is random. It doesn't matter what width it is. So here's some of the finished product. They are uh, about uh, almost three quarters inches wide on the thick end and the other end around a quarter um, somewhere in there of course you got to realize this is all rough cut stuff so it's not perfect but it's pretty good and pretty cheap compared to what you would buy at home depot of course when you buy stuff at home depot um that would be a finished product that's kiln dried and planed on one side what they do is they'll take a, a board and dry it and plane it down to i'm not exactly sure what thickness it would be but then that dried planed board would go through their siding uh, mill and i believe this is the way it works it gets cut in half at an angle so that one board ends up with two pieces of siding and so the one side would be plain and one side would be rough just like this so these are all rough and uh, of course they're not dried and people will put them up green they shrink a little, but not that bad. Um, but the price difference is huge. So it's just kind of neat to be able to take trees, cut the trees down myself, skid them out the horses, and bring them home with a wagon all the way to my sawmill, saw them into cans, and saw them into clapboards to have a finished product to put right on houses. Um, we do this with a lot of different things, Adirondack siding and uh, board and batten siding. A lot of different sidings, but of course we sell other wood, but we just don't do so much as we used to do because I've cut way back on the sawmill end of things because I prefer logging and working with the horses, so that's what I'm doing more of, and I'm selling logs more than sawing them myself. But uh, I do saw at times myself on a rainy day, it's really kind of nice to have this job to, to fall back onto and to, to work on things inside. Um, but when it's sunny like it is today, um, I'd rather be out there working the horses, but it's too wet to be doing that also. So we can do this. So I will saw uh, a few kits and show you how on the attachment that Woodmiser has, how that works. It's kind of crude in a way um, and I'm working alone so it's, it's not extremely efficient but uh, it, uh, it does, definitely does work. So I hope you enjoy it.